extremities is use that cascade to take all the space you want but not having the breach is always a question here's one right towards window all towards eight to start off here sonar really lets them know that it's clear to go in but they're facing killjoy kill utility all stacked on itself for this dash in ready for it no armor play so you get a full utility there it is and khalil capitalizes on the first blood into the round the dash canceled out by artists and with the high tide coming out energy is starting to fall back look at the push already from digizine yeah all that information out towards grass he's waiting there trying to see if there's going to hear some footsteps for energy it doesn't matter. They could take their time. There's still a turret watching that flank. Right. So they have an opportunity to cut noise. And while they're cutting noise, though, Furia will understand as well that energy are not going to really be falling back because of that position from Dijuzine. Oh, the fake clear. But at least a recon dart does get the ping onto the defenders into the A site. And somehow we answer back for Fury. It's up to Crashies on a two versus one. Gets the second onto the board, back into a 1v1. 20 HP. No information where Digizine is at. So he goes for the plant. Digizine activated the Tailwind. And there's the shot. Oh, Crashies almost made it out safely. But it's still the piss around for Furia. Yeah, I thought the Furia frenzies were gonna come out on top as well. And then Crashies comes around with some really big kills. Cleaned up by Digizine, so that's gonna feel good. He's two towards Bladestorm already. And they weather a storm of a pretty strong energy A hit there. Didn't have too much of the the short control to start. They wanted to gain everything about the alt orb. And that Molly setup coming in from Khalil really put a damper on things when energy actually tried to execute on the site. Following this second round now. Still towards A. Looks like we get a, tor tor a turret rather towards mid. So we'll be seeing Victor kind of stay back on this strategy to start. And with the plant that we got for energy, a one versus one, no force by coming out for the attack, playing the patient Oof. game, and yep, those high tines, yep, those cast canes, can be very difficult to get some early value here. My double's dead. Energy looking to gain map control somewhere else <laughs> after the loss of artists and being greeted by good positioning from Furia so far across all of their default spots. You walk into here. something, it's yep. So it's something waiting for you here for energy. There's so much op so many options Last with the utility that they use, right? Oh, you have man. the high tide coming out on one side, you can get the push there from Mazine because even if the high tide doesn't work, you have the Viper Wall behind it. There's layer on layer of defensive strategy that they're working around, and energy is just starting to see. So we'll see how much they can cooperate to get around it. The start towards A seems to be everything. For, for energy. Yeah. I think that's because Furia does love the push. They're going to be short. They're going to be long. They're going to be playing for that orb. So energy at least wants to be able to feel that out and not give up this space for free. We've seen three rounds start with the majority of the members here today. Right down Digizine with the Marshall. But it won't be as much of a fight for short here as it is for long. They're kind of, they're defaulted here with as much as they're pushing still and space being taken. <laughs> And there's no dash away. It's the oh. all drone, is it gonna clear? Hello. I'm... Makes it away at least back towards sewers as a trailblazer comes out towards long. Stopped by artists. So a bit of information, a bit mm. more information for Fuhrer as they backpedal into an A site. Lean. But the call right now for energy is trying to move back towards mid. Yeah, a little info grab there from Victor. Seeing if he can get maybe a footstep or someone to push out due to that molly displacing them. So you can see even across the map, if you don't have initiator util, they're still trying to figure it out. And that is a blind Mazine right now. Oh, it's gets a little bit of safety here as it's a feint for B. I think they're still going to want it though on a re-hit. And a high tide gave an opportunity for a crossfire setup for the defenders. For Fury, a flash to try to peek out. Whoa. And the Zen W0 finally connects onto Artis. Spectre kill. As once again, another attempt from Artis to clear the site. 30 seconds Unfortunately, left. no space gain. Another one in the column of first deaths. For the rest of energy, though, with 20 seconds left, Fall moving line. now into the C site. Crashes opens it up at least for one. But there's still one hitting, hiding inside of this pit. And finally, should I say the poison orb is stopped here by some. 10 seconds left on the clock, having to come in for a plant. Finally left. comes down. But it's planet safe. Crashies off the nebula coming through. Somehow, Digizine with the Spectre gets the pickoff. Som answers back after shot to try to clear out the defender's push. It's now Som spots both of them. We'll get the support from Finesse as they're trying to go for the jiggle. 
in the crossfire setup. And now with the swing out, they're able to hold it finally for energy to get the round. That was a big one. That was a 4v5 conversion there for energy with an artist going down first for a third time in a row. Yep. Not able to stop them that much, though. Energy still finds the win. They get into sight and put Furia onto this now buy round with the operator. Again, for Digizine, it comes out so quick and just starts to change the flow of the game here. Furia grabbing nice. pistol gives them a few rounds to start. That pistol is the first of their Enemy series. Remaining. So if they can keep it going on this fourth round after the bonus, they're going to feel very good about the start of this Haven map against Energy, which, like we've been saying, it's their playground. This attack half is going to be pretty treacherous as we get into it. Furia has to be on their on their game. Yep. Because if Finesse rather could do some impeccable calls <laughs> on this map of Haven. And early in this round, we have the operator out for Digizine. Energy committing into a plant for B side, and that's the fourth first death here for Artis. Unlucky there, they got picked through a smoke as yeah. Digizine goes for the push and the flank from behind. Position given away here as Song finally gets the pick. After shock, getting half. A little bit of a delay, still have a star up there. So Som has an opportunity to delay a little bit more. Six cents there for Khalil. Identifying the push from Finesse coming through. Body blockers. Yeah, this is going to be the defuse in for Furia. And those cascades are going to be very annoying to play against here on so those big. retakes. Or at least against the, uh, when you have the pulse plant rather on the attack on the B site. Exactly. A lot of times that smoke can just kind of be clear jump or people are still in mid. But yeah, Cascade just deletes everything. And when you try to come out of it, you're even easier to shoot. Because <laughs> you don't have the movement. It's it's really troublesome. Furia able to stop energy there very nicely. It just becomes a spam fest. Now towards C, Energy's first switch of the map. Looks like we're gonna run a few through Garage here and make sure mid control is not given up. So they might move faster because they have, like I said, they've been on that A main, keeping control. Oh. Well, that was a nice ping coming out too, so Artis finally is able to open up with two. Redemption in the first few rounds as QCK still holding towards the back of the site. Fully blinded, on the inside the Poison Orb, gets a second kill into the round. Support comes in as he gets picked up by Crashes with the Shock Darts, but that's still MWC right in the back there. Back and forth, we move out, pendulum swings. As it's up to Matt Zine on a three versus one in favor of energy and as it comes out from the cascade only a one versus one is needed for energy to win that round off of thrifty yeah and they push straight through not giving furia really any time to react at first great control of garage really making it only one avenue to retake the site because there was no time for a flank to come through at the pace of this round nice play by qck there this is a an orb that he died in last time because he was fault blind off his position but he's kind of trying to adjust to what Energy's doing on the site. We'll see if Energy starts to change that too, having used that same take now. Get out of my way. We'll watch on the right side by Victor. And more of a minute. push from Furia on that A site. They clear the corner with the updrop, but still the right click comes in for Khalil. Finally, Artis moves forward with that judge. And now finally we stop the bleed and there was an opportunity there. Double swing coming out from A main. We get the plan down. Maybe we're not, it's not over yet here, because now two weapons are coming out from the rotate. Artist then pushing forward into the B side spot. The last one wants to continue with the judge. Gets to dink, and W0 is down to 60 HP. Not really in a position to play a Hunter's Fury on the Pulse Plan, so you have to be on your toes for both of these players of energy. What a cool setup. Wow. What a cool setup. Crashies. Obviously makes Sam aware if anybody comes through Garage and Crashies just gets a quick chalk dart. Yep. And knocks it out of the park. Big play by Victor there, even though going down, delayed three members of Furia over at A. His energy kind of runs through here with the rest of their members to be able to take the C site, which they've now focused a quite a few rounds in a row. And now we'll put at Furia on a timeout. Nice call there. Good communication from the last few players on that previous round. Hearing those footsteps coming out from the rotate, allowing yeah. that prediction of the shock darts to get the kill. <laughs> but this is an early pause now coming out from Furia. On the first map when we played, it was really energy that was trying to find their footing ever since they got ecoed on that second round. And this time around when energy had their money right from the get-go, from the beginning on their first buy round. 
It's been energy story. Yeah, still getting a plant on that round four, but it was diffused. So you can see the energy being able to make it into the site, penetrate through that uh, Furia defense. And their setups have been a bit stronger now with the speed they're hitting the site, not allowing Furia to get into a setup that could flood or even retake with that much effectiveness. The chats are over, back to the game. And we are going to be in after this little bit of buy time. The operator's now out for Digizine, so we'll see how he continues to reposition and re-peak. Two stars going out towards A. Just to give Furia something to think about, something to play around, and maybe even Artis something to get a kill off of here as it looks like they want to get out into A. Big lurk by uh, Sam for this round. On the other end, Cascade on the defender's side to block the window. Flash out to get the early info. And with the early info, it's a high tide to try to slow down the pace. Off your feet. Block the information, but it's Ooh. the execution instead you of energy. Rolling oh, thunder into the site, the dash. Now we observe that the site's clear. But the Red Kidding comes in here for the How's retake. the lockdown game work? Lockdown number two, when, where? They're just buying time right now. It's not been planted, so the lockdown is kind of fizzling out here. They obviously won't see any members of Furia coming back in, but they are going to receive a lockdown of their own here from Khalil. Meanwhile, though, Som has been picked off when he was trying to go for that lurk on long C, so this Hunter's advantage Fury. comes in. Hunter's here to stop the there lockdown. That was placed down by Furia. But with that, though, we're still storming in, flooding into the site. Two kills comes out for MW Zira. A key player for Fury's success on Haven. So now we have to play through the high tides, through the sprays. It's planet for them. They're trying to get oh, their wheelos in the kills. Finally, Victor gets some both. One enemy and make that even a third. And that's going to be, once again, the deadly duo of Victor and Crashies. Always feeling comfortable playing around each other, team to team. It's never changed, like riding a bike for them, too. A tandem one, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see him still working together so well. Crashy's having some rounds for himself here, and Victor adding on to it. 4-3 to three now for energy as they start to string those rounds together. A lot of alts used on that round, though. Make sure, making sure they can secure it, giving Furia all the respect they deserve here on these retakes. Again, to a bit of a default. Is this an alt orb for long grab? It's like they'll at least try to push QCK off. Doing a bit of damage on both sides to start off. Oh Hello. my gosh. Digizine's pushes and never hurt. fail. Woo! The hat trick now! What? He's not gonna cheer yet because they're still alive in the game here, but those are some clean shots. He gets two more. You get Pinkata's sheriff face on watch. <laughs> oh my word through mid here finesse now trying to work the map hoping that that kind of disruption of favor got furia out of position but they're still very aware very ready Mazine, to grab the last two kills of that round and energy absolutely shut down on a low buy from furia this is what i used to like to call the silver op when yeah. you actually didn't have the uh hop in the beginning My God. do a lot of damage with this one as well especially at that distance Second ego of the series now for Furia to bring that momentum back. Yes. As they play the defensive half. That's huge. That's huge. It's we kind of see never. it not similar to the 4v5 stat, but when they're down, they're taking more time. They're trying to get ahead of their opponent and figuring out what the best course of action will be. There, Digizine, three headshots. <laughs> Can't go wrong. That's what they talked about during the timeout. That's what they talked <laughs> Digizine, go. I mean, it's not wrong. That is the, that is the strat here for Furia 90% of the time. It always seems here. to be a uh, high tide in a reaction to hearing the owl drone coming here. up from Crashies. Mm -hmm. Just to here. not allow to get the dash coming in from Artis behind the owl drone. As this, this is another duo that works in tandem to try to gain that early space. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That is nice there from Artis. Almost a pair of haircuts. With that pushing. though, yeah, exactly. For energy, we're not reacting on this yet. And finally, as we're trying to see where the util is coming from, 
to push now inside the C site. Seekers now to hold some players back. But this is all artists selling a fake for Victor to open up the A site. That's the pit down and an opportunity for energy to work into an open site. 30 seconds left. Just out of range? Is that smoked out right now? They just walked past the alarm bot here as they got themselves into B. Just able to hold off any rotation that Fury is going to have. Yeah, they're trying to get to a safe position Gun at here. this point. Nars is trying not to allow anybody to save. Okay. And as he looked down to call onto the gun the second time, NW0 catches him off guard. No matter what, though, it will be a plant coming in for energy. Ooh. And at least Finesse is chasing him down. Understanding I, that they have the money to work with for a bit. I love this. They're pinging the op. They're like, do not let anyone grab this. They're just covering Digizine's rifle there. And the Ruzera has it. The hunt begins. Found it. Oh, oh just, on the run out. Just ran out like a Euro cloak. Uh, yeah, he didn't expect it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just running straight out. They won't expect this. And they drop the operator. Energy just making this so much harder for Furia to come back. And Furia only doing it on the eco rounds. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's not gonna work every time. Artist does keep that operator though. Usually we've seen energy just going with rifles here throughout this Haven match, but operators grab lockdown, one off, and we may see an alt orb works here. Artist is gonna just go mid. I think this is work off Artist's pick for now, and then energy fans out. Mid pressure from Fu or, sorry, long A pressure from Furia. And a contact on the guiding light. And yet, despite them getting two rounds on the eco, thankfully for Fury, they've won that pistol and converted from that pistol yeah. to keep this game close. And another Laura Bai coming in for Fury into this round. Two hero rifles and pistols. As Artis couldn't get any value off the operator. Gets picked off early. So he's looking on the top of the B site. Didn't expect a swing from Manzine into the front. Right. He was definitely looking up. Thinking Digizine would be playing a little funky on a Blade Storm. They're still the A. Storm. Two players now inside the C site for the defenders. Alarm bot. Nanostorm's already been popped off. Ooh. There's that first kill and the spray through the smoke. Manzine. Three into the round. You and what's run. left are the pistols and the Blade Storm at least from Digizine. That's gonna run the clock down for a bit, but the spike has not been planted yet. Spike so still planted. a great opportunity for Furia, rather, to flood back into the site. And the Bazira yet to have a flash. And the Blade Storm comes in for the kill. Up to Finesse. Oh, just at safety. The flood in. The what? first kill. Rolling Thunder available. Oh, they tried Looking to for the safetiness. He has that rolling thunder. Of the garage here after that kill indeed. So he's just gonna wait, potentially pop it off the tap. But off the tap decides to swing out first, and Digizine gets the kill. The thrifty comes in. Dash. Dash in. Thrifty. Quick defuse. Did you say the thrifty? Oh yeah, the thrifty. What? How does Furia keep doing this? I was joking when I said they're only doing it on the low by rounds, but. They are making a statement with it right now. Energy has to find a way to lock this out, and Chet's gonna go ahead and give a word on that to the team <laughs> right now. Yeah, because those, <laughs> those last two Ecos that were won there by Furia came down to those two players that we just saw in the replay. Right. Digizine with the three share of kills, Manzine picking up the last two kills, and then that previous round was just Manzine getting a 3K off that hero rifle, yeah. and then Digizine coming in for the last two, so how do we stop these two? Madzine had a pop-off game last time against EG, plus 17, playing as a Sky on top of that. So now we switched that around. Oh, sorry, it was MW Zero. Well, I think what Energy could do a little bit more in that C site take when they're taking it is they've seen QCK back there quite a bit, yep. and it's been contact after the site take. They contact through that orb in play. There, it was Mazine in the back site, and they still were contacting to that back play. So just a second layer flash detection some kind of info before they move into the rest of that c site to stave off these multi kills that furia is able to get when it looks like energy has control of the site yeah the anchor players are doing a very good job here for fury on the absolutely defense. we mentioned there was an opportunity there when finesse got that kill had the rolling thunder available in a 2v1 could have potentially used it on the tap of the spike but was trying to Cash his opponent mm -hmm. off guard, thinking that it was actually going to be Digizine that was going to push for further up. But now we're all tied up. That Rolling Thunder is still available. 
as there's no lean towards the A site this time around for energy. More pressure into a C site split to start. Gonna be very quiet here. Right here. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like you said, heavy seaside. Just making sure that you can have Victor stay in range of this alarm bot, and they're happy to keep themselves out. I think the guiding light tells them no one's long, but that alarm bot just got pinged, so they're not gonna try to push all the way through just yet. Hearing some noise now towards garage, they pull out the cascade, so they find out where Mazine is for now. They may have actually heard a little bit of alarm bot as they just did that trailblazer towards long a exactly energy maybe they have heard it pivoting towards that area mm -hmm. but it's digizine waiting adsing with that vandal no operator this time as this may be now energy leaning towards this rolling thunder that's available for finesse so neat with the high tides it's like that distance of fault line that you can still support the other side of the map here but you're having to harbor not the breach and there's another rolling thunder from energy and with that high tide though look at the high tide from where the going behind he's playing an off angle into sewers and finally gets spotted has to fall back and help his teammates oh, oh comes my. down finesse saves the planner and that's artist with a judge with a kill oh my god what a kill by the Dizine. The flick across, the advantage back for Furia, and it's up to Victor and Song. Both on the swing, oh, and almost got the flick up to the fifth. Standing. But it becomes a one versus one. Victor's still oh. out in the open, could reposition. QCK hits him with the wide swing. Just a full walkout. Oh my gosh, gets the aim down, gets the kill. Furia now taking the lead, six to five. And that was just, they tried to get into the site so fast. Look at MW Zero fell out of the sky for a second there. I was like, where'd this guy come from? And then Digizine with the flick. Whew. He's been an aim lapse. <laughs> he has been an, oh my God. He has been just a ball of energy today. On fire for the rest of the team, driving that confidence and gassing everybody else. So we talked about some checking PC, but this time for Digizine, what is it? Verifique OPC? Yele? Did you just try I, that? I tried Google Translate. Oh my gosh. Let me know if I got that. <laughs> I like to. I like to try. <laughs> it's what counts. It's what counts. Let's see if Energy can try to get this last round. No big ultimates to you. Actually, no. They do have Cosmic Divide. Sorry. So they can block off the site. Give themselves a little priority once they get the spike down here. Very focused for B. Still in up top. Artist on the bookcase goes down as they read that play. Oh. This time the PC was checked. Victor fixes it up, makes it a three versus three, looking for a lineup to clear up the A site. He's gonna head towards the spawn just to try to delay a bit. But energy off this cosmic divide and that utility that's been used are pivoting back towards the B or C site. <laughs> back towards the scene of the crime. They're going to head in, and I'm rightfully so expecting that nobody's just going to put themselves on B alone. That's the smart play to play retake here, but just watch for info, and Som takes that info right back. Oh. Dodging away, putting a start down. MW0 is trying to get that spray onto Crash. He's after the plant. Playing tight inside the site, our energy. More delays thanks to the Nanostorm being thrown outside from Victor from the B site. So we hear it rotates across. There's the execution back. Two players alive for Furia to try to go for the retake. The flash is huge. Some balls and a second one. No. It's up to Victor in the front. 1v1. Only with the Bulldog and bites him for the kill. Oh, wow. Victor stepping forward for the aggression. Catching him off guard. Will find the final round. It comes down to the 1v1. And Victor has been showing up. 11 frags on the board here as we start getting towards the second half. That was another one of those moments where it could have been Furious Round. Somehow, any of these players have what it takes to just pivot the round into their favor, keeping the score very close, 6-6 six to six right here. But before we continue the second half, let's toss it over to Dan Dryad and Katie Wan. Katie Wan, okay. And that's right, I'm over here with Katie, streamer right now, co-streaming the match of Energy and Furia. And Katie, it is not the first time they are here at the arena. It is actually... It's been a couple times, I believe, from what we got to see. Yeah. What is your favorite thing about the arena? Um, I think the audience is really cool when they're like rooting for the team I'm rooting for only. But I also like the yep. streamer desk. It's nice. They give me like can candy and snacks. And I was like, I want popcorn. They brought me popcorn. So I was like, oh, 
Just a little bit of everything. That's yeah. nice. <laughs> uh, also, for this match, is it going the way that you're expected? We saw a massive comeback for energy on map yeah. one, and now it's a little bit more even. Well, for the first one, I was getting nervous, but then I was like, we can beat 9-3, because 9-3 curse, you know? And <laughs> energy super slay, so it's fine. And then second game, we're just giving them rounds. They're getting lucky. <laughs> They're getting lucky. It's all good. <laughs> and we see, you said that, you know, you were getting nervous for the first one. I want to ask you, because you also on stream, you play Valorant. What is yeah. most stressful, watching a close match or playing a close match? Watching. Watching? Because, like, you can see everything that's going on. And then, like, you can see, like, like timings that happen. You're like, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. But when you play, like, you can't really tell. At least I can't. <laughs> okay, and, and then I also want to ask you, you said we're giving them a couple rounds for this one, but in mm. Fury, yeah. What do you think, it, so you think the prediction is going to be 2-0? How do you think it's going to go? Yes, it has to, it has to be 2-0. It has to be 2-0. Yeah, it has to be. There's no other option. No. There's no other option. <laughs> My heart can't handle it. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. I want to ask you, last thing here, so tell everybody your Twitch so you can go and watch it. Oh, it's just Katie Wan. That's Kitty it. one. Yeah. All right. Make sure you go watch her and watch a co stream as well. A little bit stressful, but I think it's all going to go good yeah, for you. Yeah, it'll be fine. We'll be as fine. we go into the back take <laughs> Thank you so much, Dan Dryad. And indeed, yes, looks like Riot was able to give Katie everything that she wanted, but we'll see if Energy could give the victory that she wants now. Expecting this 2 0, wants this 2 0, but if it goes to a third map, I don't know. Can, it, can Fira turn it around? But so far, they've been turning around these eco rounds to tie this map up six to six as now it's energy's turn on the defense Whew. it's not their second chance now to get rounds on attack we'll see if they've gotten enough for energy at six is that what's going to work already into the site there's no a real cover though. the second one here with a nice recon dart Ness gets the kill onto the second one and furia decides right away to fall back yeah, the util gap that <laughs> created Furia's team being one at long C and or a few at long C and two in sight did not work out for them. Energy just really able to put the hold on that immediately. And now Khalil goes for the lurk. Try just to got keep spotted. quiet. So I'm saw him and just mm -hmm. uh, ping there. Ping. <laughs> Look at that. Just a high low. Off the fly. That's a third player to fall now for Furia. At least they'll get the plant down. QCK is making so much noise. This is heard by artists for sure. So it's going to be a double swing back towards the spot. And it's a one for one. Finish. Great push. One now spotted, and as I mentioned, the flank from behind, the fault line for the assist, yeah. and artist for the defuse. Furia really wanted C on that play. That was the initial play. I don't, I don't think they wanted to have a second strategy this round, Van Silly, because it did not look like they had the positioning for it. So the Khalil got his, but. Finesse already with the mind that they're going to be flanked was in place. Energy grabbed round one. Can they keep it together, though? Now's the question. <laughs> this is where Furia likes to fire back. MWZ MW Zera actually with the Sheriff this time. Okay, Dijuzine did buy one. Okay. Yep. That would be uh, a little different if both of them didn't. They love to try to get those hero shots in, and we saw Dijuzine get the beautiful 3K earlier with the Sheriff. So all the possibilities are there. These two are definitely a menace on those. It's crazy, it's crazy. Victor going into a frenzy in this round, hesitating on the weapon that he wanted, but decides to play the close range battle instead. Oh. Artist this trying to prevent the orb from being picked up, but it will still come up. Really cool high tide there to stop that martial attack. They expect Artis on top of the box. Finding him and being able to source that information and move away from what could be the one shot martial they, they want to prevent. Victor was looking for the turret swing. And QCK is identifying that too. There's the Alge on the spot, one of those Sheriffs. And spot a key player being Digizine. But look at this push up here from Som. That uh -oh. frenzy, here's the footsteps. And now the turret spots him, allowing Victor to play behind the, uh, the toxic screen. 1v1 against QCK, decides to fall back instead. Meanwhile though, Som does get the frag out onto QCK to support. This is going to be very difficult for Fury to try to move in for a play. Exactly. Vision. Energy anchoring looks so good right now on this round. They know they don't have to move. It's on Fury yeah. to get to the spike site. Uh, and do that. They, <laughs> there's one of the sheriffs that we were talking about. They bought up. And, and it's a much more sheriffs here. 
that were purchased before. Okay. Okay. We can breathe. <laughs> Is that, uh, for those two, there's enough bullets in there for two teams. <laughs> you, got, you gotta be careful. Eight to six now as energy does stave off that eco loss. Will they be able to grab the bonus though? Still having to buy through for a few more weapons with that light armor. So where is Finesse? Victor and the rest playing for this round. We'll see that play once again. I feel like that wall hurt him for a moment. Victor yep. was like, thank you, I'll, t I'll take some free space. He starts stinging. So they will split up where the Spectres and Stingers are right now to try and create that power across the defensive line for energy. With a push up here. Why not? Oh. He wants that. It's time for Artis to punish the Jazines on their first blood attempts. He got a Vandal. Picks up the rifle, falls back. That's gonna make it difficult now where Fury will not have the Space Maker to move into the site. Thankfully though, both controllers are still up. So you can still section out the map on the hit. And energy's pivoted back here to hold back the B push. A couple of sprays across, and it comes in favor of the attackers as Finesse falls. Counter coming through with this stinger. I've got your train. We're unfortunately not getting too much out of the bonus round of energy. The plant comes in yep. for Furia. Obscuring vision. It's up to the two stingers being delayed, being stomped by all of this utility from Fury on the Pulse Plant. Here's the Sheriff. Song to answer back. Says, I could do it too, boys. This is getting sketchy, Vans. The recall. There's that 1v1. Up to Som. Low HP is going to be Turns NW0. His back. Turns his back around, but MW0 Ooh. knows better. Swings out for the kill. Just trying. And that becomes very difficult because once MW Zera can see the spike and see that it's red, red means dead. Shoot your opponent. If it's still blue, Som's trying to fake. So towards that, it kind of leaned in MW's favor. But you still got to love to play. You love to try. Som yep. almost coming up with another clutch there. Eight to seven. And that's the bonus. We expected to be going to Furia. But really nice job by Artis to get the first kill. Furia converting another 4v5, even if it was energy's low buy. Operator on the field for Artis. Up top on B. Is that his high tide? At least he can see over it. Uh, for him, not his high tide. But yeah, they're trying to just block Ooh. it off right away. Almost got that hit. Yep. Digizine, though, meanwhile, has worked towards Garage with support here from MW0. Trying to find this utility left behind by Victor at the beginning of this round. Pivoting back here towards the A site. Alan Drone. Not gonna spot anything yet. Flash was looking to be timed to go behind the cascade here into A long, but it missed because it hit an obstacle, so they're not gonna get too much information here for Furia. So pivoting back towards the C site. This push. Yeah, from Artis. Artis. But it was pinged before. But Khalil looks into the wrong corner. Now to dash in, just to try to close the gap. But the shorty doesn't get the kill. Digizine opens it up. C site now on a four versus four. Right Some there. looking to punish somebody right recrossing. Right and it's Digizine now with the yeah. operator on the attack. The updraft to escape at least with some damage done from Som. Big fault line there coming up. Gravity well. Oh my god. That's a kill coming out from Victor. Gravity well. And now the cosmic Who's divide going? for the attempt of the one retake. Remaining. But it comes Cratchy's on a two versus my one. Ult is ready. Letting it go for a delay with a snake bite. Still a second one available. And this might be it here for QCK to be able to He's get good it. on that one. There's He's that good on that tap. one. Trying to get it into the halfway mark. QCK running up. He's gonna the drop. about to drop. Oh. And with the wall dropping, <laughs> QCK stays around there for Furia. Ooh. That's definitely a, a difficult molly to hit, not knowing the true distance. There's lineups, and then there's an in the moment. And that one fell short, but the wall fell too, and the win goes to Furia. Very nice retake there coming into the C site. And they'll find themselves another round to tie us back up here. Two and two on this second half for both teams. They're playing this one so close. Oh, yeah. Another low buy here for energy. Here. They do have a few ultimates if the round warrants it and they find furia members on the ground this cascade down long fits perfectly if they want to get by it and you can kind of see them 
Getting that flash into the right position this time. Still crazy. We'll hold that thought for a bit. Hello. The dash artist <laughs> greeting crashes as they do have this lower buy in this round, and the blade form unfortunately can get a kill, but forces out the regrowth to come out from MW0 to start. I was just wanted to mention how crazy mm -hmm. that was that DJ Zine was stunned by a fault line and could still flick across being stunned to break a dart. <laughs> That's pretty insane. Got some muscle in there. That's the arm movement. You go up to the shoulder on that one. <laughs> just swing it all around the table. <laughs> Now towards mid, a little crossfire with Victor's turret. He's got set up there on the site. He might be catching the guiding light here in just a second as the team pushes through. This is big. Oh, what a play. The first kill. And unfortunately, couldn't escape. But that actually makes Furia hesitate for a bit. Yeah. There was a four-player stack on energy at the A site. We're trying to funnel it back from Victor's kill on B. But this is a smarter move now for Furia to move across with left. the Reckoning into the open ace, uh, the open C site, rather. Yeah, I love that. Section off anybody in sight. And slow everybody that's going to be coming in now. Rifty in the sights now for energy. Crashes with a second one, upgrading into a Phantom. Artist also has a Vandal that he picked up. Now he fights back with Finesse. The Frenzy kill onto Khalil. And it's up to QCK once again, but this time with no utility. The updraft from Artis, and with the triple swing across! Oh my gosh. The Thrifty is answered back for energy on the, on the defense. How can you not be good at Thrifties this game? You just got three against you, you're like, that's how you do it? Perfect. <laughs> energy. Thrifty. Taking that into account and delivering it back to Furia there on the round. Guns in hand. The credits are there. And this retake. The, sh the Sheriff's all game. Enough. Have been on point. Yeah. Just gotta say that. Everybody's been firing off here. His energy's come up big on this one. Round 18, 9 to 8. Another round back in the favor of energy as Furia will call the timeout. Post plants getting a little scattered. A very tough one indeed. And we need to regain our composure. Had the opportunity before to speak to Frost a couple of weeks back here for the VCTs in Americas, and they always identify that they are a true contender here, Furia, mm -hmm. into the VCT Americas, but always falling short, maybe overheating sometimes on some of these kills. But that's changed a bit into this week over here. It's been a lot of, yes, these aggressive pushes that's coming out on their eco rounds and getting good picks, but there's still a great protocol behind it and not continue to push forward off of that to really regain into these victories that came into their favor on a defensive half but now you want to bring those protocols back here for furia to understand how you want to play these pulse plants now that you have the attack side remember we said furia likes to call those timeouts when the alts are ready here one of those is for digizine on the blade storm egos have been trouble for both teams See if Furia can pick up one of their, another one of uh, theirs here on this one. The Killjoy utility goes all the way back to A here for energy, and they're going to start pushing forward. And they're even off the pace, the hundred Fury to come out, Artis with the kill, and then with the assist on the other one. Crashes gets a second blood, and this coming out of a timeout off this half by of Furia. They haven't even made it out of spawn before they lose three players. Now QCK is just going to make a lot of noise trying to do some plays. But there's one player just behind it trying to greet them. The gap into the smoke, and that's Victor right there. Right click classic, at least into the headshot. And this poison ore is about to come down. Second kill with the frenzy. And you're going to end it there finally. That is actually one of my favorite defensive strategy protocols. You get a brimstone smoke out towards where a Killjoy turret would be on grass. You have your jet going forward into window. There's a breach stun coming into the window along with it. Fnatic does this almost all the time. And it's just such a clean looking strategy. Energy able to put a little offense in their defense that round. But this is where it becomes important. This is where, this is why you pulled the timeout for Furia. What can you do now with the rifle round? Seekers and pit available. An opportunity to play a tight post plan. The Seekers are out early, actually, for an early seaside control. Spike finally getting picked up here by Khalil. 
Ditches Heen somehow still manages to get a second kill. Big flash coming out for the assist to open up the C site. And off this plan, there's also a lockdown ready for Khalil. Spike planted. Just holding long C. That's gonna be a firing range coming through there. A little bit of an artist shot on Digizine's hair bun there as he gets taken down on default. Now Cove is being tossed run. late. Trying to protect the lockdown now being placed down by Khalil. Rolling Thunder available, so we're gonna push this through. That's gonna stun a lot of players. But Khalil fully stunned! Gets two kills! And energy had to fall back. Crashes has to save his weapon into the next round. All those pings are a nightmare. Bing, 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 bing. Cannot try that one. Furia coming back again on a big round for themselves. And that was just everyone up C guarding each other, guarding flanks, guarding that trade. And they move back together down long C. Something we've seen affect teams and not be able to shoot through smokes or it gets too messy, but they still actually gained a bit of control in sight with Digizine there for a moment. This will go right back into a timeout here for energy. Chet feels the need to discuss and talk. And you see how, how they took the site moving forward? Oh, I mean, you can't do much about that, Vanseline. No. Nope. That one may still be in the discussion right now, but I think they're looking at other things here. And maybe not to give up so much or be so aggressive, even with that delay of the game. Still let Furia come to the D, uh, to the spike sites to get that result in the round. I think energy has given up a bit too much. And you saw in that previous round, Furia had the Seekers to use the lockdown. So two of those ults mm -hmm. being utilized to, to secure that round. This round, they still have the pit available, but this timeout that was called by Chen also gives an opportunity for you to discuss that maybe this might not be the round where you want to use the pit because Victor does have the lockdown to try to counter that right away. Right. Depending on where it's going to push you out. And they don't have the composition to really try to break that utility or break the lockdown even. No. No Sova. Nothing to get it through any walls or find where Victor could be put in lockdown. So what's the choice? For Fioria here to make sure this Viper's Pit becomes the most valuable. Honestly, it could just be pushing a team off, and if they can get to Garage and throw it down somewhere for the retake, that would almost be immense for the way it's to be played. Obscure. A little bit of this mid pressure again as they keep control of Garage. Saw him there under his own star. The high tide was dashing through, the spray through the smoke. A flash for the assist once again, but Victor's not blinding out of that one. And there is that pit. Victor staying alive, 30 HP. We haven't planted that spike yet. Good focus towards B here. You have artists pushed all the way up long right now, allowing the team to know they can crunch a little bit on this space. C may be a retake, but they don't have to worry about that anymore with Viper's pit down. They do identify a low health Mazine. Now the lockdown finally comes in. Yeah. And the pivot towards Garage, and that's where Som, Som sorry, is still waiting with the shorty. Yes, popped right away. I'm out of stuff. Pork out. Now there's 38 seconds left on the clock. Blinded. But look at the health of the Furia players. Mm -hmm. Regrowth already been used. So they have nothing to work with in terms of HP. They can't afford to take left. long, right? 30 seconds here. They haven't done anything with long, and this is going to be artists just staring at them with an op. Oh, the high tide just long enough on that play. They're still trying to fake out for a retake on B. Or re-hit, sorry. And on the other end here, 13 Finished. seconds left. We mentioned the low HP, Victor, first contact. Now the jump across can't do Spike too much. Down, B. Now as you're storming through, trying to waste that clock down, now you've secured the round. One more to go, trying to save his weapon. That's MW Zira. He's gonna be able to get no it, but at the end of the day, it's still the round for energy. Yeah. Moving up at 11. And as close as energy was to B site, they were happy to play retake on just about everything. If artists got pushed off, it was a retake A. As left. they went into B with a Viper's down, Pit down, B. they were patient. They're like, okay, plant. Because once you plant, we are going to flood that Viper's Pit with our utility. That's Furia could not get themselves to get that spike down in a secure location. Really nicely shut down by energy. Good control of the extremities to make sure B did not get lost.
hear a little bit more mid play from Furia. I think they're liking to keep this at a distance to figure out what energy is doing first. They have not been favoring a long at all, even for space or even to stop energy from getting an ult. Now some forced to fall back. They hit the lineup that came from the killjoy to clear out towards the garage. Allowing Digizine to dash in, but Som still winning at the platform. Digizine's trying to get a timing. At the shot, they're trying to delay, trying to push them back. But Furia is still committed into the C-Site hit. Finesse answer is back, but Mazine and Furia are still Here. battling. And winning these one by one. A little bit of that second layer with the Cascade going out towards spawn. That's what we were talking about before, where energy was finding themselves going down at that default position. Furia take one step more to get another round. Really great on the teamwork from Furia here. It just seems like the power of numbers for them can't be beat at this point. Sometimes you, you still get the trade wrong or the utility doesn't hit, but every time they're able to be behind each other one after the other, it just seems like they steamroll a site. And you can see energy, all those X's on the minimap are just on the entrance back in. They really didn't gain any ground. And you have to see from that execution from Furia as well, these, this Viper toxic screen that goes and split towards the sea site. The smoke started being thrown from the dash in mm -hmm. from the Juzine. It also is, is, is cutting the site in an area where you can't get too much value out of finesse with the flash on the retakes. Yeah. If everybody's focusing on that left side of that sea site. It's so cool because you can either take the fight on garage side or you can take the fight on the other side or at both times, yeah. depending on where your initiated utility can fall. So with that, it becomes open season pretty much when yeah. energy are trying <laughs> to move tough. back into the site. No assist from, as I mentioned before, the flashes to try to blind your opponents. Yeah. Gonna counter on potentially Crashy's utility as a Sova. It plays, plays off a of fundamental. The moment you can't yeah, help exactly. a teammate, you kind of back out of the site, right? And yeah. cutting, uh, cutting each other off like that does exactly that to your opponents. Kind of makes them scatter. They cannot cover. Here, Artis. Hasn't moved for the last few rounds from long, but he will be ready to dash, but take this aggressive shot. I suggest you move. No nope. reckoning and trouble. See you later. Now dashing away. 10 to 11 is the scoreline as Furia is looking to tie up the game in the second map of the series. Plat now for long in sewers as the delay continues to come out. Mazine being a thorn on the side of the retake attempts of energy with this utility from the harbor. Recon ready. At least we have an aftershock kill. That's up from the heavens down towards hell. And that's MW Zira. No flashes to fight back. Fault line then to come through and that might be the call for energy to finally move in. And that's Digizine holding at the bottom. Now being pinged out. Trying to look and Ooh. trying to escape. But somehow. Wow. Mazine runs through the smoke with a crossfire setup. All those kills just happened instantly. Got it. I, I'm not sure how they didn't take Mazine down in that right corner. Playing the angle didn't strafe out. I think he made uh, energy come out a little bit more than they wanted. Let's see right here. One. Oh, yeah. Yeah, didn't strafe out as much and then takes the space. So tucking himself into that corner continuously makes Sam think. Have to check. Wants to kill, then has to force it. Mazine finds another kill. Just a little moments and being patient here. Paying off for Furia. Now towards C again. Remember what I said about this death ball. They hardly stop. Yeah. That definitely had to be the player on the window wow. on the retake on the A site to try to get that pick into Graffiti. What a beautiful shot there. Nice job by Ops to just show how this protocol unfolds from Furia and energy pushing the other side of the map. I mean, we're going to have to play a little bit of a retake or at least lose these weapons towards the spike. And yeah, that was clean. You almost want to know if like it works against the defense. <laughs> Well, yeah, you can see what Furia has in place for these rounds just at the last moments, giving us different strategies we haven't seen when you need these last few rounds to yep. take your opponent out. And look at energy. Hello, family photo. They're just staying towards spawn. And Furia knows this. An opportunity for them to just chase down these kills, die, get all forms, do whatever they can. And that's what energy was trying not to give away <laughs> all orb kills because now this potentially allows the blade storm Match to come point. through getting very close to even more ults coming out here but seems one away from the reckoning 
Oof. Energy having trouble on the retakes. Two and six so far, and that has given the rounds over to Furia. The speed in which they take these spike sites, Van Silly, leaves little to be countered. Again, it looks like they'll try to fake this play they do towards C. Spike is down here, so they may give the same utility, but not hit it as hard. Especially when Sam is playing the forward position, and there's no more utility following behind that. Reckoning. Here is a tap oh, of that dear. spike. So there is that reckoning available from Matt Zine, the blade storm available for Digizine. As it boils down to this last final round, Energy does have an opportunity to delay with the Hunter's Fury. So running that clock down for Energy, they'll be happy with that if Fury continues to default to work the map very slowly in the last round of regulation. Sam and Victor, though, pushing out towards grass. All of Furia grouped up here. Slowly inching forward into the A site. Energy hesitating, looking to play the retake game instead. Understanding this reckoning about to come out. 43 seconds left into the round. Bladestorm missing out from the Jazine. No punishment coming out for the player pushing towards spawn, which being artist. And there is that plant coming down. Hunter Fury is not going to be used. It's going to be used for the retake instead. With a cosmic divide available for Som2. And the fault line initiates the re plank. hit and the retake attempt from energy. And there's that first Hunter Fury kill onto QCK. Gets a second one onto Madzine. But the Jazine is pushing towards the spawn. Here is that double flank coming in here from energy. Trying to clear towards the site. It's not being looked here on the right. And Khalil does get the kill. It's traded up. It's on a two versus one of the crashies. Making a lot of noise here. He has to do it. But Digizine turns it.